Hello, my friends. This is your new best friend, Pong Lizardo. And today, this is the Shure SM7B, and that is thanks to you guys. Thanks to our friends who use the affiliate link found in the description of the videos in this channel, and to those who enrolled to my audio course, we are able to buy new toys to test out. Once again, we are doing this audio test in my flat that has zero audio treatment. I may or may not edit the audio of this video. So for the exact parameters of this test, please check the... the, the <laughs> I know you already know this if you've been subscribed, but to those who are new to this channel, let me just say this again because I still uh, see complaints about this. I will not give you my positive and glowing opinion regarding the products we are testing. Testings. <laughs> what we do here in this channel is we take these things out of their box and let me, sh let me just show you. Uh, we take these equipment, these toys out of their box and uh, put it on the mic stand, attach it to the recorder and do our spiel in front of the camera. This way, whoops, you don't or rather, I don't color your judgment. And that is because if I tell you my positive and glowing opinion regarding these products, you will be biased. And uh, you might hear something that is not really there. Whatever. Since we only have one microphone, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read off um, something from the user guide. And through the magic of editing, we are going to compare uh, the switches, the thingies different settings of this microphone. All right, SM7B user guide. SM7B user guide. SM7B user guide. Dynamic microphones. General description. The model SM7B dynamic microphone has a smooth, flat, wide range frequency response appropriate for music and speech in all professional audio applications. It features excellent shielding against electromagnetic hum generated by computer monitors, neon lights, and other electrical devices. In addition to its standard windscreen, it also includes the A7WS windscreen for closed talk applications. The SM7B is an outstanding choice for the following applications. Recording studio, instrumental, and vocal Location recording, motion picture, and television scoring. Television, talk shows, and news desks. Radio announcing and production. Narration. Now, silence. Now, silence. Now, let's listen to silence. And for your reference, this is the audio coming out of my camera. My camera is a Canon M, huh? yeah, it's a Canon M6. And uh, this is the audio coming out of my camera. Compare that to the SM7B. And uh, just in case you're wondering, my mouth is two fingers, two fingers away from the SM7B. Well, two or three fingers away from it. And uh, this is well, according to a lot of people smarter than me, this is how you should use the SM7B. So what I'm going to do to test out that theory is I'm going to continue talking and I'm going to move around the microphone and away from the microphone. So this way we actually know um, if you should be really talking like this. And by the by, this is the proximity effect of the Shure SM7B and my lips is actually touching the microphone and as you can see it's moving so I'm really right up close to this microphone. So what I'm going to do now is move around the microphone. So now I'm moving around the microphone and I'm just talking to the microphone and to, just to see how uh, it rejects off-axis sound. Uh, coming from the different angles of this microphone. Of course, this side would sound like the other side. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm back like this. And uh, this is, uh, once again, I'm touching the microphone with my 
lips and I'm going to step back from this microphone and I'm stepping, 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 stepping away from the microphone and as you can see, um, <laughs> I ran out of cable to step back. So this is about arm's length away from the microphone. I don't know, I don't hear what you're going to hear in the video, but this is how it is and I'm going to once again step back to the towards the microphone and this is how it sounds like when I'm two or three fingers away from the microphone. Um, before, what else are we missing? Yeah, before we do the cloud lifter and the fat head test, I want to test out the noise rejection of this microphone. So for this test, what I'm going to do is this. Um, okay, I have a speaker right here. Uh, I think I'm becoming a boomer because every time I do this, I forget how to operate the telephone. <laughs> the telephone, <laughs> you see? Anyway, video. So I have a speaker right here. And as you can see, it's right below the camera. And it's like, what? Three, four feet, four feet, 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 feet away from me. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn that on and we're going to play something and I'm going to talk, okay? Right now it is uh, at the middle, right in the middle. And uh, I'm going to, what I'm going to do for this is while the video is playing, I'm going to continue talking so we could really um, gauge how much of my voice is being picked up and how much of the external audio or audio outside this polar pattern is being picked up. And uh, I'm what I'm going to do now is I'm going to first uh, let you listen to the audio from the camera. And you know, it's, it's kind of distracting. It's actually distracting. It doesn't have this noise in the background. And uh, now we're back to the SM7B. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right now drop the volume and put it up so we can gauge how different audio levels affect the the sound that the the SM7B is going to pick up so let's do that now i'm dropping the volume now let's drop it so all right dropping 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 and uh, i guess now it's down to zero, zero and i'm going to increase the volume once more Okay, increasing the volume now. Okay, right now we are back at the middle. And now we are going to in keep on increasing it. Alright, so now um, the video, uh, rather the volume of my phone is all the way on the top. This is maximum volume. Alright, so now I'm going to decrease the volume once more and I'm going to shut it so we can hear how it sounds like um, without the voice just just the rejection okay so I'm dropping it now I want to go back to the center all right so now we're back at the center and I'm going to just shut it okay so no volume All right, so this is uh, middle. Yeah? How else are you supposed to lift the feet, Bree? You know, if you keep, if you keep the feet in, in socks and shoes for too much, I Maximum guess volume. All right, so I think right now we have a good baseline for uh, the microphone or for rather the noise rejection capability of this microphone. And uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to test the SM7B on a cloud lifter and a fat head. And we're going to compare the default setting of this microphone and um, how it sounds like with the fat head and the cloud lifter. Let me do that right now. SM7B user guide. SM7B user guide. SM7B user guide. Dynamic microphones. General description. The model SM7B dynamic microphone has a smooth, flat, 
wide range frequency response appropriate for music and speech in all professional audio applications. It features excellent shielding against electromagnetic hum generated by computer monitors, neon lights, and other electrical devices. In addition to its standard windscreen, it also includes the A7WS windscreen for close talk applications. The SM7B is an outstanding choice for the following applications. Recording studio, instrumental and vocal, location recording, motion picture and television scoring, television, talk shows, and news desks, radio announcing, and production. Now, silence. Now, silence. Now, let's listen to silence. All right, my friends, um, my fridge just cycled on and it's like, what, three, four feet or five feet away from me. Um, and I thought it would be good to include this in this video just to see or rather hear uh, how much of the that hum or that noise is being picked up by the microphone. And I'll just show you. All right, so that's my feet. All right, so that's the fridge. I don't know how much of my voice is being picked up and how much of the fridge is being picked up. And now this is silence with the fridge running in the background. All right, my friends, now we're back to the default setting of the Shure SM7B. And uh, there's one more thing I want to do here, and that is to test the the windscreen or the mother of the microphone. But before we do that, um, let's see. God damn it. I want to, s to test if um, we can use the SM, rather if it is viable to use the SM7B like this. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to compare this once again by reading the, um, the user guide. SM7B user guide. SM7B user guide. SM7B user guide, dynamic microphones. General description. The model SM7B dynamic microphone has a smooth, flat, wide range frequency response appropriate for music and speech in all professional audio applications. It features excellent shielding against electromagnetic hum generated by computer monitors, neon lights, and other electrical devices. In addition to its standard windscreen, it also includes the A7WS windscreen for closed talk applications. The SM7B is an outstanding choice for the following applications. Recording studio, instrumental and vocal, location recording, motion picture and television scoring, television, talk shows, and news desks, radio announcing, and production. All right, my friends, now we're back to the default setting, <laughs> default setting of the Shure SM7B. And like most YouTubers, now is the time to say, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and click that little bell so you get notified when a new video comes up. And also, if you want to be a nice person, and if you want to help out the channel, please buy all of the devices, all of the devices that we uh, talk about in this channel in the affiliate link down in the description of every video in this channel. And I'm not going to ask you to go to my Patreon and give me money, but instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to enroll to my audio course where I show you how I made a $20 mic sound decent, not fantastic, not great, but very decent without fancy acoustic treatment or sophisticated audio gear. You can find the link to the course in the description of this video. And I know some of you are broke or you don't have the budget for anything or to enroll to my course. So I got you covered. What you can do if you want to enroll to my course, 
for free is go to the description and find the premium Skillshare link. It is down there in the description somewhere and find it, click through it and subscribe to um, the free, I think they call it, yeah, they call it a free premium Skillshare subscription. I think you're going to get like what? one or two months for free. And with that subscription, you can enroll or you can take my audio course for free. And on top of that, you can use that subscription to enroll or to take other courses in Skillshare. Once again, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And please don't forget to enroll and buy all, all of this, this, these devices that we're talking about through the affiliate link down in the description of the video below. All right, then, <sighs> over and out.